good morning. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 10. Um, if you don't have the context as to why I look like Little Bo Peep, um, Vlogmas Day 9, I did a new technique of heatless curls, and I am so excited to take these out. I feel like this looks pretty solid. Like, it doesn't feel, like, sometimes I feel like, okay, well, I mean, and maybe aside from this, I don't know what's going on here, but I ended up taking another scrunchie at the back and just tying the two um, ends together, but it was really not that uncomfortable. So here's what we have. Like, that's in pretty good shape. And I slept eight and a half hours last night, definitely like toss and turns to my normal degree. Also, speaking of tossing and turning. to go, you good? <laughs> there it is. Wow, you get that back itch. You get that back itch, Diggo. Okay, done? Have a great morning nap. Oh, not done, not done. Okay, so yes, genuinely quite comfortable. I feel like I'm in good shape. Here's the, uh, here's this side. I think it was this side last night that ended up looking better. I can't remember which, which, was it this side that was really good? I can't remember. Anyways, let's take this out. Okay, that's a good sign. Do you see the end here? It's got a nice little curl. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, God. Uh oh. Wait. Uh oh. Okay. It's curled. It's curled. That's for sure. Okay. I have mixed thoughts. I have mixed thoughts. This is, this is not, this is not what I was quite going for. Also, my hair has never looked so short. But let's, oh, no. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. 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 Oh, fuck. You know what, though? If I were to run a straightener over this, this might not be so bad. Like, that's really solid. Are we seeing this? Like, it's too curly. Like, when I'm looking at, like, this, I'm like, that's that's too much. It looks like a corkscrew. But it's definitely, like, not, not curled. Like, this is, like, a strong one, too, right here. I think I also, like, when I take this side out, I'm so flat here that I would definitely have to touch up, like, this area here because it just goes in first and then comes out for the first curl and it's giving me like triangle head <laughs> oh no okay okay let's do this side let's do this side here let me move this my mirror over on this side so we can get it better wow so i feel like even doubling it up didn't uh, yeah okay see this is what i hate when this happens with heatless curls like, do you see how crazy this end is? Like, what is that? That needs to be, that needs to be straightened. This needs heat. TikTok, have you led me astray? <laughs> oh, I don't think I'll be shooting anything on camera today for the DIY series. Oh, wow. But look at this one. That's pretty legit right there. I mean, listen, it's definitely curling. I think brushing it makes it worse. <laughs> you know what though? I wonder if I were to just fix the fronts because like this is this is not this is not it this is not even close to how i would do my bangs but actually okay so you tell me how this looks because i won't be able to see this is it bad i don't even know is it bad i feel like it's not not curled though you know like it definitely did something i think that if i had 30 seconds with a hair straightener i could make this really legit because actually now as it's falling a little bit. Guys, give me 30 seconds to straightener. Okay, here we go. Like, I think. Oh, nope, that just made it too straight. Yeah, let's go. It's like when the ends get really crinkly from getting stuck in like a weird spot, I feel like, in the hair tie when you close it off. But like, that looks so much better already. This end is fine. These ones are fixed, fixed, fixed. Oh, here down? That looks pretty good. Oh shit. Yeah, right? Look at that, close up. That looks pretty fucking good. Damn. I, even when I do my straightener curls, I have a really hard time getting the curl really close to the root of the hair. And I almost feel like this did a better job of doing that than what I can personally do with a heat tool. Okay, 
with like just a little bit of touch-ups on the ends. Here's what this side looks like on the bottom half. Obviously, they still need to be separated out a little bit, but like go off. Heatless curls. Wow. Okay, let's fix up the bangs a little bit. Guys, that truly, after just like softening that out a little bit, oh my god. Wow. Color me impressed. Are you kidding? Damn. That looks so fucking good. <laughs> I, the way that I am so shocked. I think that like next time I could just even fully leave my bangs out of the curl because this is like, this is not even close to what the goal is. Slay. Wow. I am truly blown away. The way that this would take me 45 minutes, obviously there's like a few pieces that I'm probably gonna go in and be like a little bit of a perfectionist about, but like I truly am so impressed. I did not think that this is how my day was gonna start. Let me be so crystal clear. This is not the outcome that I thought was gonna happen. Was I hopeful? Yes, of course. I'm an enthusiastic glass half full kind of gal, but wow. Slay, what a start to my mother freaking day. Go off bathrobe curls. I will 100% be doing this again. Hello, this year's Vlogmas Spiral has arrived early. Honestly, I think that I am just in the thick of trying to get all of these DIYs pre-filmed so they can start going up ASAP because that's also gonna be a daily situation. Um, and I am... I feel as if I am drowning is how I feel. So I've already decided that I'm going to be not posting vlog. I'm gonna do Vlogmas Day 10 and Vlogmas Day 11 together in one video. Um, so missing a day, so sorry. Like I, I think like what kills me is thinking about how someone might be looking forward to watching the vlog as part of their daily routine and I've let them down and it truly, truly, truly kills me inside. So apologies. And I know that all of you are so incredibly understanding, like always, literally, like sometimes I'll, I'll have people message me be like, hey, like I feel like you've been taking a little break in a while, like just letting you know like it's totally safe for you to like, like if you need to recharge, it's totally fine. We'll still be here and it's the sweetest thing ever. And so like, I already know, like I'm not, I'm not scared or sad about skipping because I feel like I'm gonna have wrath delivered to me by anyone. I just genuinely feel so bad. But yeah, I'm really, I'm really um, struggling through balancing, um, just getting this all done in time before I leave for Big Bear in a few days. We're recording our last podcast of the year tomorrow and then my family gets here here in literally one week as of tomorrow and so like that not that like I have to do anything extra for my family comes it's always like very very chill but just like it just felt like a lot just felt like a lot and honestly I feel like Saturdays and Sundays I would say Sundays more specifically are more of like a chill day for me and all I wanted to do today was shut the fuck up that's like all I wanted to do. I wanted to paint my stupid little DIYs and shut the fuck up. Like I just like, I just couldn't bring myself, like I, I have a list, just like an ongoing list of like some backup Vlogmas ideas. If there, like, there's a day where I'm not feeling inspired or like nothing specific happens that could be like, you know, kind of like the main thing that happens in the video and literally none of those ideas, as fun as they might be, were things that I had the mental energy to do because I wanted to simply shut the fuck up. And so that's what I did. And so I'm feeling a lot better. I took the dogs for like an hour long walk. That was really nice. I, when I go for walks, don't even listen to podcasts or music or anything. I literally just listen to the inner workings of my brain, which can be in a, a really scary place sometimes. But I think that it's healthy for me to simmer in my own thoughts for extended periods of time sometimes. So yeah, that's where I am at as as of today, I'm still gonna film the advent calendar tonight and um, day 10 and 11 will just get joined up into one. I did wanna show you some of the progress though of the DIYs. I poured some resin today and I painted my little motherfucking worm. Look how cute he looks. 
I'm dying. So cute. So this is the air dry sculpt clay and I haven't even gotten around to painting the SpongeBob gifts that I made um, a couple vlogs ago. But obviously like this is the priority to get these done so I can get these videos up ASAP. And this also has to varnish as well. So I'm gonna go in with the Posca paint pens. These are amazing. And I'm gonna add some little daisies on top of this rainbow gradient and then do his little face and then let that dry for maybe an hour or so. Do my varnish. That needs to sit for another 24 to 48 hours. It's not even that a lot of these DIYs are like that much work. It's just the scheduling. It is simply just like the time management of making sure I do everything in the right order and leave enough time for it to have the time that it needs to do whatever it needs to do, like resin, for example. So that is where I am at. Also, hair, honestly, like I didn't even add any hairspray to the curls after I took it out. Like, had I been like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna film and like really commit to this hairstyle. I just like went about my day, like again, went for a walk outside and it still looks quite good. Oh wow, wow. I also had a hair clip just like pulling my top pieces back too. And wow, pop off. And I also, like this was the other reason I felt so bad too, skipping a day. I was like, ugh, like the one time that I do a vlog where it has to be like a stay tuned for part two to like see the results. Like what an asshole missing the reveal day. I'm so sorry. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna add these daisies onto my little worm guy and uh, keep trucking along with all of these DIYs. Hi, Diggo. <laughs> Are you first one to the advent calendar today? What's going on? <laughs> Just his tail. Just his happy tail. I'm dying. So cute. Ugh. Bubbies, you care to join us? Hello, welcome. Great dismount from the couch. Vlogmas day 10. Wow, great stretch. Great sniff, great stretch. Great job, everyone. Great job all around. Diggy, please don't sit on your brother's head. Vlogmas day 10. I'm so sorry that we had to put you through the Christmas pickle. <laughs> I'm so sorry that the Christmas pickle yesterday was so traumatic and so awful. How could they ever do that to you? Oh, there's something a little scary about the coloring of this one for some reason. It just, Moose disagrees. He doesn't think that there's anything alarming about it. Let's see what the woofers one looks like today. I feel like they really love the woofers ones. To be honest, they don't discriminate, but day 10. Oh my God. As Okay, oh, Moose ripped off day 23. Oh my God, day 23 has taken critical damage. I repeat, critical damage. Oh my God, Moose. May day 10 and day 23, sir, sir, sir. May day 23 and 10, rest in peace. <laughs> okay, okay, so we've got day 10 from Woofers, day 10 from um, Bark. I'm gonna do the, uh, the icing one. Ow, motherfuck. Oh shit. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. Knife right into the finger. Fuck. Oh my god, is this the first Vlogmas injury? Is this the first advent calendar blood that we've drawn? What a moment. Of course it's on my spiral day. I'm totally fine. I didn't want to show you because I know people have blood triggers. Okay. Sir. Sirs. 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 Sit. Please chew. That was not even close to enough chewing. Oh, sorry, boobies, right there. And last one. Wow, the dinosaur noises today. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Hi guys, it is the next day and I'm feeling a little bit better today. I've got my Velcro dog here with me sharing my chair as I get some emails done. For the DIY series today, there's this really cute hand and paw scan that I've been meaning to do forever for like just like a gift for someone in my family but this is the year that we're finally doing it and I think it's gonna turn out so cute I'm just waiting for Jeremy to get off a call Moose and I did our hand and paw there's only room on the scanner oh my god oh my god oh my god hello <laughs> okay 
can I help you? I swear to God, I cannot fit another dog in this chair, although I would love to try. I can only fit one hand and one paw at a time, so we're gonna do my hand and Moose's paw. I'll put a photo up on screen of just like the raw image before it has any editing, and then I'm gonna Photoshop the two of them together with Jeremy's hand and Diggy's paw, and it's gonna be so cute. I'm so excited. So anyways, I'm just getting um, a little bit of work done while I'm waiting for Jeremy to film that next portion, and then tonight I have to knit a blanket with my arms for one of the other upcoming DIYs. Hello, sir, can I help you? Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. Oh my God, I'm so dumb. I've been like kind of feeling off and I wasn't sure if it was just like a side effect of having just kind of like a, a rough mental health day. Also, I had like shrimp that had little parsley's in it for dinner and I'm like, oh shit, I did not do a teeth check. We're good, we're good, we're clear. But yeah, I've been feeling like a little weird today, like a little off. And I just thought that it was because yesterday I was feeling pretty ass. Turns out I am about 12 hours late on my meds as well too. And I never forget my meds. I have, and truly like this is some life changing advice that I think I saw on TikTok. I don't let myself have a sip of hydration of liquid of any kind until it's with my medications. So it's literally the very first thing that I do every single morning when I come down to the kitchen because I'm like literally in bed. I don't even have a sip of water when I wake up in the morning and I'm like carcassing just like on my phone because then it throws off my entire possible routine. So if you struggle with taking your meds, literally this has been life changing, except for today I broke the rule and I was like, oh yeah, like I won't forget. Like I will take it as soon as I eat breakfast. And then look at me now, 7.30 PM, meds not taken, brain feeling weird. So anyways, that's uh, been my day. The photoshopping that I did turned out so good on the hand and paw scan for the DIY gift series. I think partially, okay, so we're not gonna eat that. That's not edible. Moose, no, 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 out, out, grab it, grab it. Not a snack. Literally not a snack. This is literally, this is a corner guard. Why? Why, Moose, why? I think um what I've been feeling like with just with yesterday is that I feel like with this DIY series and also the daily vlogs, yesterday I just started spiraling that I wasn't doing either well. And that's what started my downward trajectory of the day is that I was just like, I can't give 100% of myself to the vlogs, but then if I don't focus on the DIY series, I won't get it done in time before I leave for Big Bear and it has to start going up on Thursday. I don't know why I'm so out of breath. I really haven't done anything. And so that's where that started. I think I pieced things together, made two and two come together and that's where I landed. Anyways, I have decided that I'm going to just sit my ass on the couch, pour myself a glass of wine, and watch a stupid Christmas movie. I'm gonna post a list on screen of the Christmas movies that I compiled when I asked for recommendations last time on Instagram. I have since watched a few of them and nothing has really stood out, but I did put a heart next to the ones that I've watched. That doesn't mean they're good. It just means that I have completed them. So yeah, let me know in the comments. This can be our capybara giveaway thing for today. Let me know what your favorite Christmas movie is. It doesn't have to be like a rom-com or anything. Oh my God, Diggy, oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. He is so bouncy, it's insane. Like the air that he manages to get when he's jumping is truly so impressive. Oh, we've been caught. <laughs> we've been, oh. <laughs> oh my God, look at him. He's like a bucking bronco. Wow, go off king. You zoom on that cloud couch. You deserve it. Meanwhile, Moose over here is just like, when the fuck is the advent calendar coming out? Done? Okay. Oh God, we're zoomed in, we're zoomed in. Zooming out, zooming out. Um, the other thing that I was gonna show you right now is my freaking go-to three ingredient super simple recipe. Literally one of the ingredients is water. I don't think we can call it a recipe, but this is what I give the dogs on days when they just need a little more mental stimulation. We did go for a little walkie earlier, but I feel like as you just saw from Digo's demonstration of his uh, couch zooms, we got a little more energy to burn. And I feel like 
think during COVID, people were so good about sharing their different techniques and um, tools for high energy dogs that need to like be stimulated. My dogs really don't. They really don't have that much energy. They are so happy to sit around all day. They actually prefer to not go on super long walks. We call them outings. So anyways, what they do really love though is anything associated with food. And this also tires them out like crazy. It lasts about 30 minutes. And I think honestly, if you had a dog that was like not as food motivated, it would go even longer. But they are these um, wobblers, I'm pretty sure it's called, from westpawdesign.com. I just got them on um, Amazon though. I will leave a link. And so this is what it looks like and you can fill it with whatever you want. But the key here is to freeze it because these last way longer than a regular licky mat, which I am also a huge fan of. I usually make enough that I can just like fill this and this and put these all in the freezer. But these are a freaking game changer. You can also stick stuff like taller things in here as well too. So we're not feeling crazy, but what I do they take so it's not the vanilla flavor that has sugar in it it's just the non-fat plain 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 this is the one that i am convinced kind of tastes like sour cream and jeremy does not agree with me but cooking with remy does so that's an automatic win for my side please let me know where you weigh in on that debate but i will take just like a scoop of this i'm spreading this out between um four different things or else this would make my dogs real gassy. And then I literally just take some water. I feel like the water portion though is the key to making it last longer once you freeze it. Like I feel like, you know when you eat like um, an ice cream bar or a frozen yogurt bar, they melt so freaking fast. When there's water in here, it lasts so much longer because it's like an ice cube. And then whatever kind of like dog friendly fruit I have, which is bloobs right now, I just do a bunch of bloobs and then into the magic bullet it goes. They also would not discriminate if I were to literally just like stir it, they would be stoked. But I do find that it freezes better when you've just mixed everything up. And then Moose is waiting at my feet because he knows, he knows exactly what this is. You have popsicles that last your dog for freaking ever. Okay, there's one, two, and then with the licky mat, if you want to get really crazy, you can do like a panel of different things. Like you do a whole panel of yogurt, a whole panel of peanut butter, as long as it does not have xylitol in it. You know what? I might have to make a little bit more if I want to evenly fill these out. Or these can just be little ones maybe. And then these little cooking brushes. This is the designated dog brush, okay? I swear, I don't, I don't interchange this with some of the human food situation, but then I just like paint it up into the little licky mat segments here. I feel like I should just show you guys all of my um, dog enrichment things. Um, you guys sending me pictures and videos of your dogs watching the vlogs, I'm losing my goddamn mind. Please do not stop. I love it so much. All of your pets are so cute and I am absolutely living for it and it is the best. So thank you so much. You make my DMs a very, very happy place. There we go. Into the freezer they go, like a couple hours. And then later when I go to put a stupid little Christmas movie on, they are gonna have something to do and they're gonna be so peaceful and calm and then exhausted. And then probably gassy as well after that. So I figured since I've been talking so much about the DIY gift series, I might as well show you a progress update of where I'm at with everything. I'll show you why my sanity is slipping away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because there's so many things that are in progress, work in progress. I think that's the hardest part is that like, it's it just like so many things are in stages and it's sucking my soul. Okay, so um, this is gonna be some resin art. These are cutie little bears. I'm gonna pop these out tomorrow. So I've got four here. So cute. Here's what the front of the bowl looks like. So it'll be flat on the back. And I'm so excited to see what these are gonna look like when I pop them out. I don't think they'll be like too gradient-y, but I think they're gonna be like, I don't know, kind of fun. So anyways, these are all gonna come out. And then I got this frame off of Amazon. Such like a fun neon pinky orange. And then this part comes off just with magnets, which makes like literally the most perfect, like very art forward surface. So I was thinking I would attach either three or four, depending on if I like all of them, across here, like do, 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 do. And then this will get popped onto this and freaking voila, art. So that's in progress. This will get finished tomorrow. So I need to pop out the resin bears 
super glue them, let them set overnight, and then I can shoot the like final reveal, like the B-roll or whatever at the end. My rainbow worm, which you've been seeing, I feel like a little bit, I'm just so scared that I'm gonna drop it or somebody's gonna fall on it because it looks so fucking good. Look at his little face, look at his little face. So this is the paintbrush holder rainbow worm with daisies on it. It looks so good. I'm so happy with it. So I'm gonna varnish this actually tonight before we do the advent calendar and like settle in for the night before a stupid little Christmas movie. And this is gonna be the last thing I do tonight because the varnish again needs dry time and then I can shoot the final B-roll of it. So we're gonna varnish in a second. I also have this spackle art going on right now. Literally the list just keeps going on. So this is what it looks like right now. I did the um, joint compound portion of it already and then I painted it white because it was definitely like a very off-white like incredibly noticeable so tomorrow i'm going to be painting little skiers all down it it's so so cute i forget who the original artist is but when i post like the final video i'm obviously going to be crediting them um i know that it's gotten really popular and a ton of diyers have done their own renditions of it but i will be sure to credit the original artist who i i even was having trouble finding out who the original was i think i got it nailed down but i'm not entirely sure so i'm gonna go back and before i do my voice over for like the um, tutorial portion that will accompany it. This is what it looks like right now. So that's on the agenda for tomorrow, painting the little skiers. What else? I sent the paw and hand scan Photoshop print to be printed overnight. I can pick that up tomorrow morning. I've got a frame coming tomorrow. I have to arm knit the blanket. I decided to move that to tomorrow or Wednesday even, depending on how the rest of tomorrow goes. That's one, two, three, four, five. The necklace is done and the macaron ornaments that you already saw are also done. That's the status update of where things are. I feel like walking through all of that was also very helpful because one, two, three, four of these can be done by tomorrow. Maybe even the blanket, we'll see. Ah, uh, God. You guys were so nice to I posted on like the community tab um, today just being like hey just letting you guys know like I'm gonna be joining up vlogmas day 10 and 11 um, and everyone was so incredibly nice I literally said that earlier in um, I think a portion that I recorded yesterday that people are so nice incredibly like so much care for my well-being and I appreciate that truly to the freaking end of the world some of the comments though were just like we're just like oh my god enjoy your day off like enjoy your rest and I was like ah, I wish that I was getting rest like it'd be one thing if I was taking a day off and just like doing fucking nothing but I'm it's I'm painting worms is what I'm doing I'm painting worms also sculpt was so kind and they sent me um some paint pens I haven't actually opened these up yet but I am so excited I am a sculpt fan my worm turned out great we still haven't painted the spongebob things that i made the other day but i'm a huge fan of paint pens that's how i did such a detailed face and all the daisies on the worm as well too so the paint pen but i just got these in the mail today so we've got four colors here and then these say oh god i was just imagine bleeding twice in the same vlog from two different sharp things my god like, was that the safest way to do that? Probably not. Ooh, okay, we've got white, black, silver, and gold. Very nice. Modernist tones. This feels like, I feel like this is gonna be right up my alley. Ooh, yeah, so cute. Those are such cute colors, love those ones. Thank you so much, Sculpt, that was very kind of you, and I will be enjoying these to their fullest potential as soon as I have my sanity back. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, varnish a freaking worm. I'm just using the gloss varnish that I have um, from the Sculpt Kit as well too. Boys. We've got 9%. Can we do Vlogmas day? Freaking day 10? What day is it today? Why are you so out of breath? <laughs> you know what? I was literally just out of breath like two shots ago. I cannot be talking shit. Oh my God. Oh, I am so sorry. Are you okay? Are you okay? Unfazed, absolutely unfazed. Moose for sure just took an elbow to the forehead. Okay, hello everyone. Vlog, oh no, is it the 11th today? Vlog just kidding, Vlogmas day 11. Wow, no one is hyped? What's going on? 
There we go. There we go. He's back. He's back in. We've got a little mini candy cane today in the Bark advent calendar. Let's see what we've got for this one. Oh God. Oh, the way that day 23 is so exposed. No, 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 no. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. This one is in rough shape. Okay, you know what? I think I gotta open it over here. Great news, everyone. I did not bleed today. We did not drip blood. Diggle, what's this? What's this? What's it? Yum. Gentle. Good boy. Coming in close for dinosaur noises. <laughs> well, that was fucking adorable. Well, on that note, we will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 12. There we go. Great dinosaur noise.